Ken is a 12 year old boy and just minutes ago, the Sacramento coroner identified him as Santino Contreras. Yeah, just 12 years old. Sacramento police say someone shot and killed Contreras in the Meadowview neighborhood on 22nd Street Saturday around 6 p.m. KCRA3's Michelle Bandor is live at the Sacramento Police Headquarters. Michelle, any new leads in that case? Well, no, Lisa, nearly 48 hours after someone gunned down the 12 year old boy in the street, Sacramento police say they don't have any suspects or any arrests or any new information in this case. Neighbors tell me they don't think Santino Contreras lived in their area and they, they say they are on edge with the violence in their street. It's really sad, you know. A reminder of the violence that took the life of a 12 year old boy over the weekend. All of a sudden we heard this big bang against the side of the house and scared her, got the dog barking and heard a bunch of pop, pop, pops afterwards. Debbie Stevens found a bullet hole yeah. in her window. She says bullets also hit her neighbor's house next door. We hear firecrackers. It doesn't matter what time of year or time, of, you know, or in the evening or whatever. Um, firecrackers around the area and I knew it wasn't firecrackers. You know, I knew it was gunfire. Sacramento police say around six Saturday evening, the victim was involved in some kind of altercation in the Meadowview neighborhood near 22nd and Babette. Investigators say someone shot the boy during that confrontation and took off. No word if the gunman ran away or was in a car. The kid was laying on the side rock right there and I could see a police officer doing chest compressions on him. Stevens knew the you victim know, was young, kind of but stuff, not so this young. Kid doesn't even get a chance to be a teenager. While family and friends grieve the 12 year old, police told us on Saturday they're trying to figure out who killed him and why. There's no amount of words that we can provide um, in that circumstance. Now our job is to try to find you know, justice for these families and find the people that are responsible for. Stevens and other neighbors say hearing gunshots and seeing violent crime doesn't happen in their quiet Meadowview neighborhood and the realization of the close call is starting to sink in. I'm really glad I didn't have to go out in the garage for anything because I could have been wrong place and wrong time because the, and I looked at the height of the bullet hole and where I would be standing if I had been there and it would have hit me. Yeah, it's, she's really scared right now, wondering what could have happened. Now, as far as the victim, I reached out to Sacramento Unified School District to see if he was a student there. The district tells me that he was a former student, but is not currently, currently enrolled in the district. The district is providing, though, counseling and for any staff or students who may need it with this loss. Reporting live at police headquarters, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. It is truly heartbreaking, Michelle. Thank you. And police are asking anyone with any kind of information, please contact them. You can remain anonymous.